Denise Trescott here with Island Murray behind the camera reporting from room 289 to tell you more about Timberland's new club, Dungeon and Dragons. Every Thursday, D&D Club meets in Mr. Zare's room in room 289. Uh, I actually set D&D Club up this year. Uh, I've been into D&D for quite a long time and I wanted to have something at school that I could like just set up and play with friends because it just seemed like a good opportunity. My favorite part of D&D Club is pretty much just hanging out with everybody. My favorite part is seeing the way that the students interact with each other. They get excited, they shout, they yell, and then they laugh, and they come together in the end, and they've all had a really good time. Uh, spending time with friends. It's nice to be able to get together for a few hours and see everyone. Students should join because it's helping build social skills and you get to hang out with people and meet more people and learn a new fun game if you don't know it or play it if you do. Um, it's a great way to make new friends, people that you may not have like connected with in the past. Um, we have um, lots of uh, different dungeon masters so they can find a group that they would fit in with easily and shout out to Mr. Cordonaire. We have like brand new starter sets that he donated to the club um, so that um, people will have character charts that they need. We have dice and we have all kinds of um, the spell books and things like that. It's fun. Playing Dungeons and Dragons is something that's kind of hard to set up on its own so this is a good way to kind of test the waters and try it out. According to DungeonVault.com, there are currently an estimated 13.7 million active tabletop D&D players worldwide. If you have any questions about the club, you can contact Ms. DeYoung 